Hello everyone. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, wherever you are. Anyway, folks. Um, I'm gonna be a quick video because um, anytime I'm making certain recipe, it's called for certain items, and I thought you know, uh, most of these I like to share with people because um, sometimes people use a lot of these things and um, they buy them. Well, this is self rising flour, guys, and um, you know. Um, it's not a lot of recipe called for self-rising flour and that's why in the store uh, At least here in Canada, you will see very limited amount of self-rising flour on the shelf and it would be in like a one kilogram bag small bag, right and That's it because um, it's not I guess it's not a great demand for self-rising flour um, because it's just a certain recipe Anyway, um, I make it all the time for certain recipe I use. And it's also good if you have it on your fry your dumpling or stuff like that um, at times. Anyway, folks, I just thought I'd just share this with you pretty um, fast. So the self-rising flour, or what to make it, you need flour, some salt, and baking powder. Okay, so, um, okay, and when you do this, folks, it has to be very, very, very um, even off, okay? And you can double up the recipe if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to show you the basic um, amount um, you need right now of um, stuff you need right now. And so what it, did, what it does entail is um, one cup of all-purpose flour, okay? And um, um, you're not going to compact it. Just um, put it, do it loose. So um, I'm using some all-purpose flour. I was going to... And so now, so right now you need one cup. And as I say, you could go from here and double the recipe if it calls for um, more than the one cup. Okay, so right now I am setting up one cup of flour. And I'll show you how to do it because you're not going to pack it down. Um, you know, you're just going to leave it um, very loosely. Okay, the cup, the cup of flour you're going to be using. Okay. Um, Okay, so this is one cup. So you're not going to like, you know, compact it down. You just leave it like that. That's one cup right there, okay? And you just put it to your, your bowl. So that's one cup of flour. Okay. And you're going to need a one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. And um, here's my baking powder. I keep it in the fridge so it keeps fresh. So we're going to need one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. So that's one teaspoon and a half a teaspoon. Uh, okay. So that's one and a half. It's very, it's very simple, folks. Teaspoon of baking. Okay. And um, you're going to need some salt. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And it's a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay. And you can use whatever salt you you want to use basically but i love um either kosher i use them all i use them all but i am so i so love my um emelian salt because it have a lot of nutrients in it folks and if you read up about emelian salt okay folks and that's basically it and you just mix everything up okay and you keep it in the fridge so I'm going to do a recipe right now that needs two cups, right? So I'm going to do another cup in it. And that's basically it. Um, so I'm going to put in another cup of flour because I'm going to do a recipe for two cups of um, self-rising flour. And folks, that's, that's it. Easy and simple. So if you're going to do use um, you know, a certain amount, you just double up your recipe and that's it. So I am going to be doing a recipe that calls for two cups of flour. So that's the other cup and I'll just add another teaspoon and a half of baking. So that's a teaspoon and a half a spoon. I just add my salt to that. And it's a quarter teaspoon of salt. A 
that's good so i'll just put in the in this in the description that's for the basic one cup that you're going to be needing but i need two for i'm going to be doing a recipe and folks when you finish with it you just put it into a, a freezer bag and just keep it in the fridge uh you know and that's it so folks i hope um that was um you know interesting answer if you will if you use that so this is the three ingredients you need for it um salt all-purpose flour and baking and baking powder folks that's it for your um self-rising flour that's all that's needed so folks um please like share and subscribe to the channel and um just big up everybody and um everyone have a great day okay thanks a lot peace